Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my drugstore, my holy grail drugstore products. I have here in front of me um, all the products that I consider to be my holy grail products. These are products that you can exclusively get at Walmart or Target or just a drugstore um, store. I don't have a specific amount of numbers because what I wanted to do is to um, pretty much how I start my makeup routines, so primers, foundations, etc, etc. So if you guys want to know what my holy grail drugstore products are, then just keep on watching. So the primer that I always find myself reaching for and always just going back to, no matter how many new primers I try, is this one by NYX. This is a NYX Angel Veil and this is a skin perfecting primer. I do feel that it just smooths my skin. It doesn't exactly fill in my pores. But, you know, I mean, it doesn't make them any uglier than what they are. I really like to apply this underneath my foundation just to give my skin a really nice clean canvas. It looks really smooth and I feel like this just prolongs the wear of my foundation. So I feel like this is just a must-have for everybody. This, So this is definitely my holy grail primer. Again, that's the NYX Angel Veil. Now for foundation, I hope this doesn't come as a surprise to you guys. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. If you have oily skin, this is going to be your best friend. This is in the color 108 Caramel Beige. Unfortunately, this does have a lot of yellow undertones to it, which doesn't suit my skin tone because I don't have those yellow undertones. So I might need to pick up a shade darker than this to see if it matches it a little bit more. This is the foundation that I'm wearing on my skin today, and it is medium to full coverage super mad and it's not heavy on the skin so i love this one if you haven't tried it try it now for concealers i have two this is the la girl pro conceal um this is a corrector shade and this is in the color orange i recently got this so i might be cheating with my holy grail products but this has quickly become just like my top favorite a necessity in my makeup routine i apply it before i apply my concealer just to cancel any dark circles that i may have um, for those rough nights where sometimes i don't sleep and a little bit of this goes a long way now my holy grail concealer is the maybelline fit me concealer i use the color 20 sand sable I've gone to at least three tubes of this. This is my second one. I have another one. I'm running out of both. So that tells you how much I love this concealer. I know that I don't use it on camera as much, but that's because I always try to switch up my concealers. I feel like it's medium to full coverage and it just blends out really nicely. I like that it has a really pretty like yellowy undertone to correct my dark circles as well. So I just, I love this and again I've purchased it over and over again. So now after I've applied my concealer, I usually go in and set my concealer. So what I love to use to set my concealer is the Airspun Loose Face Powder. If you are into baking, you are going to love this. This is super affordable and again you can buy it at the drugstore. I love this. It just sets my concealer so nicely. I love baking with this. I have other um, loose powders but this is the one that I always reach out for just because it really brightens up underneath my eyes and it says everything so nicely. It also just prevents my oil from peeking through. So it just kind of controls the shininess going on in my face. You can set your whole face with it if you like. But I really love this, especially for baking my face. So again, that is the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Now, my Holy Grail bronzer is the Milani Bates Bronzer in 05 Soleil. This is such a good bronzer. I love it because it doesn't have those orangey tints to it, which I feel like a lot of bronzers have, and they can make you look really, like, dirty in the face. And this doesn't have that. It has a little bit of gold, like, glitter to it, if you can see that. It just looks so pretty. It's really big, and the price is not bad. I believe it's 7 or $8 for this. So, yeah, I love, love, love this bronzer. I know that I don't use it on camera. Um, often as well, but believe me when I am not recording, this is what's on my face. Now for blushes, unfortunately I couldn't choose just one, so I did pick two, which they're kind of the same color, but in my eyes they're different somehow. And I'm sure you know which one this is. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Pressed Blush in Cabo Cabana. This has just, 
Oh, I love this stuff. It's a really pretty peachy color. And I feel like these are the types of blushes that will go with just about everything as far as um, makeup looks. This is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. Surprise, surprise. And I just love it. It's such a pretty blush. Now, another of my favorite blushes is this Milani Baked Blush. And this is in Rose Dioro. This is such a gorgeous blush. This has like, pink, like baby pink colors. It has your coppery colors it has peach colors and it has a little bit of gold in there with a little bit of like white gold this is such a unique blush i absolutely love this one now this is a little bit powdery so you do have to be careful when you are using it but if you work it nicely it'll look just gorgeous on you this is this one right here so this is milani rose dioro and this is the elf pressed mineral blush in cabo cabana as you can see they're Slightly similar. Absolutely love this one. If you haven't tried Rosie Oro, try it. You won't regret it. You won't regret it, especially if you are darker skin. This is just going to look amazing on you. Now, for highlights, this was a hard one because I was in between this one and some other ones. But this is the one that I do notice that I use a lot. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection in the color Hollywood Boulevard. This is such a gorgeous highlight. You wouldn't think so because of the colors. You see like yellow and then pink and brown. But when you swatch it all together, it gives you the most gorgeous champagne, champagne gold color. It's this one right here and it is just absolutely gorgeous. I really don't think that I have any other drugstore highlights that compares to this. And it's super inexpensive as well. So... Definitely my holy grail. Again, that was the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection in Hollywood Boulevard. So next are eyeshadows. Now the drugstore doesn't have too many great eyeshadows, but I do have two palettes that I just think are absolutely amazing. And these are the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1 and Nude 2. I do have a tutorial that I did months ago with this one. I will have it down below. But these eyeshadows are just absolutely amazing. The pigmentation on these are crazy. And so you get a lot of nice neutral colors. So if you are a neutral lover, you're going to love these. And then La Palette 2 has more of those mauve colors, which are also up my alley. These are just amazing. They're, they're really good really really inexpensive um, drugstore eyeshadows now my holy grail eyeliner and I think this is everybody's eyeliner is the NYC liquid eyeliner in black I literally need to buy so many at a time because every time I go to Walmart or Target these are always sold out this is such a good matte eyeliner and I love the wand because it's perfect for me for applying my winged eyeliner this you can go very dramatic with it and it stays put all day long it will not go anywhere when you use this I think everybody loves this eyeliner and it's for a good reason my holy grail mascara has to be the L'Oreal Paris voluminous carbon black I don't like I don't love mascaras just because I do wear falsies pretty much every time actually every time that I wear makeup heavy makeup I am wearing falsies but so far this is just an amazing mascara I use it on a daily basis even when I don't wear falsies this is just so good to make your lashes look really thick and long now talking about falsies my holy rail drugstore falsies has to be the Ilor Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes I've used these so much um, this is a new pack. I haven't opened these, so I just wanted to show you guys these eyelashes. But these are so dramatic. So if you like really dramatic lashes, these are going to be your best friends. Um, you can find these at Target, I believe, or anywhere where Eyelore is sold. I know that Ulta carries it in their drugstore section. That's where I find mine. And these are just so gorgeous. And, I mean, they're drugstore, so you really can't go wrong. And when I apply my lashes, I love using this um, Duo Adhesive, or it's the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe, and this is in the color Black. When I apply this to my eyelashes, 
my eyelashes do not come off all day. And that's because it's so like it's so tight in there, which is a good thing and a bad thing. The only thing that I would have to say I don't like about this is that when I do take off my makeup, sometimes I find, you know, that glue residue. But in a way it's good because it tells you that your lashes are staying on all day long. Now for lipsticks, obviously I couldn't choose just one, so I have two different brands for you. Now I'm not going to go through each individual one because then I'd be here for years, but Milani definitely has my heart with lipsticks. I have almost their entire collection and I just, I love their lips, especially because they smell so good. And they have a large variety of colors to choose from. You have from purples to dark vampy lips to really nice nude colors. And of course my other holy grail drugstore lipsticks are NYX. I have tons of them. I have some of their butter glosses. I have these NYX matte lipsticks which are really really good. And then I have their intense um, butter glosses which are fairly new, these ones, and then I also have some of their NYX soft matte lip creams like these, and then I have some of their new ones, which are the velvet liquid lipsticks or whatever they are. Alright, so those were my holy grail drugstore products from start to finish. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, share your opinions in the comments down below, and let me know what your holy grail drugstore products are if I haven't tried them. I would love to know and maybe try them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in my next video.